today we start traversing the Klein Swartbach mountains. The Klein Swartbach Traverse spans from Seerwegsburg Peak to Toverkop and it's mostly an off-trail traverse challenging hikers to pick their own route. So we started this morning um, from the northern side of Seerwegsburg Peak. Um, the peaks there behind me. The plan for today is to hike up to Seerwegsburg Peak and then traverse along to Skull Cave. Made it to the point where we're dropping our bags to go tag Sierra Vexport Peak. 2,000 meters elevation. It's a nice feeling to drop the bag. My bags weigh about 20 kgs. So, quick stretch of the legs and then we come back and continue our traverse to Skulls Cave. It's quite cold, but minus one at the moment. Just successfully summited Sierra Vexport Peak. Here with Hendrik, the wind is intense. <laughs> Gale force winds, very cold, my teeth are freezing. Um, but the views are really, really beautiful. So happy to have made it to the highest peak in the Western Cape. So we made it back down to our bags and now we're heading on the rest of the traverse. Steenslang Peak there behind me. Um, we're hopefully going to summit it. Uh, just going to depend on our progress, but that's the, the next objective. End of day one, we arrived at Skull Cave where we met three local mountaineers and we lay there falling asleep watching the stars. It was pretty amazing to sleep in a cave that had Bushman paintings in the cave. The next morning we woke up to pretty miserable weather. It was raining, uh, there was a complete white out, it was very misty, visibility was about only 15 to 20 meters and we had a bit of a debate to see if we would carry on that day or if we were going to wait out the weather. The five of us decided to head out into the weather and to work together to traverse and find the best line to Toverkop and our next destination which was Nels Cave. This day was very tough. The eight kilometers took eight hours, it was extremely slow going, we got lost a couple of times even though we had GPS devices. The weather was just completely against us. Arriving at Nile's Cave, shivering, wet, completely drenched, we were absolutely elated to have found the cave. And we spent the next 30 minutes trying to get warm, um, trying to get out of all our wet clothes and make a warm cup of coffee. It was an extremely cold evening. However, the next morning when we woke up, we finally got to see a beautiful, glorious sunrise. And it was that cold that evening that all our wet gear had frozen and was now not usable. Um, so we packed up and we headed down. I think we really got to see the Swartbach in all its glory. We had beautiful clear days, icy cold winds. Uh, we had terrible, cold rain and misty conditions um, and I think that's what makes this wild space so 
incredible and so beautiful to me that's what these experiences are all about it's going out experiencing and witnessing the grandeur and the might of mother nature and when you go through these experiences you are forced to learn a little bit more about yourself and how you react to these different conditions Woohoo! <laughs>